What is happening? Welcome to the channel. Kyle Smith here, Mindset Performance Clarity Consultant, taking your words, stories, breath, and behavior and stacking them in alignment with the person that you wish to become to experience the life you desire. Today, we're gonna to be talking about something that is very near and dear to my heart so that I really did not start paying attention to until this last year and have become more mindful and intentional about my use of words. Words are the topic of today for day seven of my 33 for 33 video series. So thank you very much for being here. I appreciate the support. I appreciate you checking these videos out and viewing them. Uh, I'm creating these videos with the intention of producing content that can help inspire people to gain confidence through their competence and empowering themselves to live the life that they want. I view words as the ethereal macronutrients of the mind. Similar to food, what we consume affects our physiology and our body in either a helpful or harmful way. The words that we speak or think or hear affect us at an unconscious level. So if we are consuming a lot of negative words or positive words, both of them are going to affect our mind differently. If we are consuming nutritionally dense foods that are empowering, affirming, encouraging, rather than not so nutritious words that are demeaning, discouraging, conflicting, harmful. By gaining a better understanding of the words that we repeat on a day-to-day -day basis, we're able to become more mindful of the words that we speak, hear, or think, and remove the ones that are not in alignment with the way that we want to experience our life. When it comes to words, there are affirmations and then there's negations. Affirmations are the words that encourage us and inspire us to become the versions of ourselves that we wish to be. Negations are the ones that are demeaning, that, that prevent us from progressing towards the life that we want to experience. To provide an interesting insight into the magic and the power of words, Let's look at a word that many of us are familiar with, abracadabra. Abracadabra isn't used just for magic and pulling rabbits out of a hat. It's actually Aramaic for, with my words I influence and with my words I create. The words we speak, the words we think, and the words we hear influence the world around us. It creates our reality. And if we are not deciding the reality that we wish to experience, there's another outside source making those decisions on our behalf. And oftentimes those are not in alignment with our best interests. So if we are able to take command of the words that we speak to ourselves, to others, to the words that we think, we are able to manipulate our reality because we're looking for more affirming words rather than destructive words, helpful words rather than harmful words. Because if we are not choosing what words to think, speak, and hear, then people will train us to think what they think, to speak how they speak. Either consciously or unconsciously, we adopt other people's mannerisms, other people's words, other people's stories, other people's methods of breathing. So when we take back our power through making the decision to develop ourselves, we can adjust our words to encourage that development, to encourage that positive outlook. And when we make the decision, to look for words that are helpful rather than harmful, our reticular activating system, our RAS, is going to influence our unconscious being to pay attention to what we wish to see. So when we make the decision that we are going to use words that are affirming rather than conflicting or destructive, that are helpful rather than harmful, our unconscious self is going to look around and observe our environment and observe our thoughts and try to seek out more of that information. Very similar to a car that you never see, but then you see it in your mind whenever you purchase one or if you decide that you want to own one one day. Your reticular activating system, your RAS, is now always observing that specific thing in the environment around you. It does the same thing with your words as well. So if you have any insights about words, any questions about words, any critiques, any criticisms, any insights, be sure to share them in the comments below. If you ask questions, I'll make content on it. And outside of that, keep up the kindness and I hope your day treats you as good as you look. Cheers.